And she uh, has a cat, Mr. Kitty, and oh my God, she teaches that cat like a baby. <laughs> Mr. Kitty happened to get out of the door a couple weeks ago, and Natasha's in the kitchen, and I'm standing there, and all we heard was, ah! Parenthood is full of ups and downs, but the love between a parent and child is always constant. 
Parenting is one of the hardest jobs in the world, but it's also the most rewarding. It's an incredible adventure. There will be ups and downs, but as long as you work together as a team, you'll get, be able to get through anything. Congratulations to both of you on becoming parents. I love you both. For somebody else, you will have succeeded. In 30 to 40 days, your lives will change forever. You will find yourself in awe with the greatest task of a lifetime, parenthood. No number of baby classes, books on babies, read <clears throat> show and tell of how to burp or change diapers will prepare you for the journey of parenthood. You will behold and hold a little human who will be totally dependent on you. Instantly, you will be filled with so much crushing love, joy, wonder, and trepidation all at once. You will be floored by the most amazing miracle, life. Charlotte is here. She will need love. She must have love and hear that she is loved. Her home must be a haven of love, respect, and caring. She must know consistency and that her well-being is tantamount of importance for her mothers. Heather and Latasha, I want you to relax and save for being moms. There is no right or wrong way. There will be days when you will <clears throat> second guess yourself, but remember, Charlotte will guide you. Listen to her. <clears throat> you are blessed to have a village, family, <clears throat> extended family, and friends who stand ready to love you, to love Charlotte, but above all, to offer a hand or hand when you need help. Uh, Heather and Latasha, do not hesitate to call on the village. <clears throat> there will be weeks, long weeks. Charlotte has had trouble sleeping and has been a little cranky. You have changed more shit-filled diapers than you thought <laughs> a little person <laughs> could ever produce. Um, Harrisburg has been more than a notion. The university's politics have been in full gear. You need an evening of adult, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have mine. I don't have my green glass one. Um, you need an evening of adult conversation and a night of uninterrupted sleep. Send out that SOS to the village of grannies. <laughs> um, we stand ready uh, for the rescue. Remember, there is no shame to ask for help. It's not saying you're bad parents. It is saying that you are human, parents in need of a night of rest. 
You are successful because you have found in your hearts to love and care for Charlotte. I love you, we all love you in this room, and, and we will love Charlotte. And to end on this quote, children bring us a piece of heaven on earth. Insecure fans, there's no need for you to be insecure because we got y'all. <laughs> I love you both. 
of my life, so many parts of Heather's life, and the life that we're building together here in Pittsburgh. Heather said, I don't never want to live in a place like Pittsburgh. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> But I just want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank everybody who made this day possible. I want to thank Melissa Crawford, our event planner. Yes. I know she's running around somewhere. Thank, I want to thank the venue. I want to thank all the staff. Can we give it up for our staff? Who is so here today? I want to thank the, the Vibes Master, DJ Selective, the ones and twos, my birthday twin. All my friends and Heather's friends who were a part of the advanced team who put together the centerpieces, they knew they had an assignment, and they did it. I want to thank them especially. Give it up for them. Every vendor who helped us create this beautiful space, because it is a sacred space. This is a space for black joy for this child that we are bringing into this world. So now on to Dr. Heather Real. We call each other baby mamas, and we're we good with that, right? We, we love each other. It's something we say in jest. But I'm going to tell y'all a little bit something about the mother of my child. First of all, she's an old doctor. All right. She put years. I met her on her doctorate journey. And she always tells me, that, you better be careful who you reply to on um, OK Cupid. You might mess around and get wiped up, babied up, housed up. But we met many years ago. She was on this journey. She put so much hard work, dedication, sacrifice so much. And I'm so proud of all that she has accomplished. So that was something that she has always wanted to do, and she did it in her hardest times. In the darkest times, she still came through, and she made it happen. And she will be teaching at the University of Pittsburgh. Woo! We talked about if you have a child, would you want it to be like the person that you're having your child with? And the answer is absolutely yes. See, she is the most intelligent, beautiful, funny, competitive, <laughs> uh, generous, uh, supportive, just amazing person that I've ever met in my life. And so, absolutely yes, I want our child to be exactly like you. And she will be. We've been through so much together, and I don't want to think there are times we didn't think we'd make it through, but we did. And the love and the work and the perseverance and the commitment that we have put into our relationship, we're going to put it into our child. And I can't wait to do this with you, because ain't nobody in this whole wide world that I would do this with but my Heather. Oh. I love you so much. I'm grateful for you and all that you have sacrificed to bring our child into the world. I took pictures of you yesterday while you were speaking, because oh. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. And this is a beautiful process. I know that was weird, but it's okay. <laughs> y'all take pictures of y'all people. And if you might not want to admit it. But it was just so, so beautiful. And I'm just so grateful for you. I love you. And we ready to do this, right? Yeah. I think. <laughs> Journey with me, 
you have been, you've given me your love, you've given me your support, you've done the craziest things with me, and that, but more than anything, you have mothered me too. Um, to my mother figures who are here, I wouldn't have made it this far on my journey without you. You know who you are, and we're going to need you even more. Uh, my aunt and uncle are here. They came up from Philadelphia. Thank you so much for being here. It's nothing like having family here on your important days. And, you know, there have been so many times that I think I'd be able to go forward without my mother here. But she is here. Yes. Yes. She is here. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do this in my life without her. But I can with Heather, with all of you, and with everything Charlotte Denise Stroud instilled in me for the last 40 years. So thank you so much. I love you all so much. Let's have a party for baby Charlotte Romaine. We love you. Thank you, Heather. And y'all ready to dance? Yes. Yeah. But before we go, I'm bring Maria up. We got another little special scenario about to go down. Maria is going to come to for us. But thank you all so much for coming to the baby Charlotte Romaine's baby shower.
The DJ booth is conducting a troubleshoot test of the entire system.